And besides a potential economic slowdown, safety concerns are also hitting businesses. A Nike flagship store is closing in Seattle, Washington, among other businesses that have closed down in recent years. The locals and some business owners say crime and homelessness are taking a toll on the downtown area. NTD Sean Marshall has more. Downtown Seattle seems to be dying with the recent closure of a Nike flagship store after 26 years of service and a regal multiplex cinema on the same block. Though Nike hasn't released an official statement as to why, locals mentioned rampant crime, homelessness, and a rough COVID pandemic recovery affecting local businesses. Because they decriminalize a lot of things does not mean the crimes that surround them uh, go away. I spoke with Jim Fuda, executive director of Crime Stoppers of Puget Sound, to find out what's going on with the retail businesses in Seattle. The fact that, that there's less people actually shopping uh, downtown because of, of the people on the, uh, that are on the streets. It's uh, difficult. People are afraid. The homeless mental health, health crisis, supposedly, that, that it's a new term. You can, you can call it what you want, but the bottom line is there's still criminal activity going around that, that particular population. The city has vowed to crack down on homelessness and crime after firefighters were attacked at homeless encampments on 40 different occasions in a four-month period last year. In King County, where Seattle's located, vagrant deaths hit a record of 310 in 2022, including 18 killings. We had a failed defunding uh, experiment done by a past city council uh, that uh, over 400 officers um, are uh, gone from the Seattle Police Department, which means there's less officers to respond uh, to these types of, uh, of, of calls. So um, uh, they're just responding to priority one call. So what happens to property crimes um, there and the accountability side of that is, is, uh, is been lacking. Among the most recent trends to hit Seattle area retailers are thefts of copper cables from electric vehicle charging stations. Thieves might take only about $10 worth of copper, but it costs up to $2,500 to repair the damage. Sean Marshall, NTD News.